Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So on my continuing Caden Live tutorial series, today I'm going to be showing you how to do some very basic uh, transitions. Uh, it's really easy to use in here. And then um, as you actually go through your whole learning process, uh, you might be able to learn even more transition effects that I don't actually use. Uh, because I myself, I honestly do not use the majority of these transitions. I really only use two. And one specifically, which is really powerful. And so whenever you open up Caden Live, you have these two different tabs right here, effects and transitions. And so we're going to really stick on transitions. And there are a lot of transitions here. Uh, but the only thing that I don't really like about how it's set up is there's no visual representation, at least not from this view. And honestly, I've tried all these other ones or most of them. And the only ones I really use is slide. And most importantly, wipe. And wipe is the most powerful one. So let me show you first with slide. And so if you actually have two different clips, you could either do this where you could just bring in the transition right here on the very next clip. And what you could also do is you could actually zoom in. And so, and if you go a little bit closer, you see here. So if I actually run this right now, um, you see how it slides. So it slides from the left to the center. Um, you could do some other things as well. You could adjust this transparency either here or here. Um, I honestly don't mess with these, but let me show you how it looks like. See, it's kind of look weird because it transitions out and then it comes back in because once the transition done, then it's your actual clip. So that kind of looks weird. So you might want to experiment with that, but that's how that looks. But what you could also do is with the slide, you could have it come from different directions. You could do from up to right here to center. Right there, uh, top to center or all the way down. See here, so you kind of get the point. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but <laughs> there might be a time when you might want to do something like that. And also, you could also take this actual clip and put it up here. So where now it actually overlays uh, your other image, you know, or your other video. So you see there, so your actual video below it is underneath at all times. Whereas if you have it side by side, there is no other video below it. And so there's like this black portion. Okay. So that's up to you on how you want to do it. And so that's slide. It's fairly straightforward. So I'm going to delete that. Now, let me go to the one that is extremely powerful, which is wipe. And honestly, um, if you actually watch my videos, I don't do much of any type of transitions. I only use mainly slide or wipe, mostly wipe. But even on wipe, there's a lot that you can do with it. Now, by default, it uses the linear effect where it just goes from one side to another. You see? But within wipe, there are many other effects. And this is what I really like because here, with this view, you can actually see a visual representation of the different effects. So if I use bilinear, you see there, it actually folds out right here. And so I really like that how it shows you how this might look like. So here's a burst effect right here. And there are many more right here. There's a clock effect. So many options. And you could even mess with things like uh, which direction to go. So you can invert it like right there. So it goes the opposite direction. So really cool stuff. And there's quite a few effects here. Um, you know, you do have to be a little bit careful on your transitions because if, you know, you, all your videos have transitions, that really looks kind of weird. And in some cases, it just makes your videos kind of look uh, amateurish. And so, you know, I would highly recommend that you, you know, stay away from using too many uh, different effects. So you can see there. And also the great thing about Caden Live is you could actually install new effects like this one right here. This is a new effect. This wasn't a built-in one. And so this is the burst uh, effect is 16 by 9. So let me show you how you could actually download new effects. So if you go here to settings, download new wipes. Okay, so it's actually transitions. Uh, so, and then here you can actually download what you want. So you just simply install it. And then you can actually see the various uh, transition effects that are here. Really easy to use. And so right here, I just installed this one and you could easily uninstall it. So really easy and powerful. You know, this is something that I wasn't aware <laughs> that was available, but once I found it, it just really makes this tool even more powerful as uh, more and more people who actually are developing this, they're doing this so then you can have more wipe effects available, more transition effects available. So I really want to thank everybody who actually takes his time uh, to design this. And then if you were actually take this uh, clip up here 
and then you know move it up here uh, once again it'll actually be on top of your image below and so I feel like if you're going to be using uh, like these type of uh, transition effects it works better if you have some video below it you know or image other than just having it have something that's just purely just black you know just just looks better that's just my opinion but you could easily experiment with all these and I love how these look you know it's really cool to me um, and I really feel like all the other effects uh, I might try to figure these out but honestly for me as long as I have wipe and all the various different type of effects that I could do with that transition effects that's all I really need uh, very simple very easy to use and you know if you take enough time and kind of like make sure it fits well with what you're trying to do with your video then these are very very powerful and the fact that you could download even more you know it really is only limited by your creativity and so that is it for this very quick video on how to use some very basic and simple transitions uh, I normally just use slide and most importantly just use wipe and I really feel with wipe you could pretty much do pretty much all the type of uh, transition effects that you would like and so that is it for this particular episode. If you had any thoughts on uh, these transitions or maybe any other type of different transitions that you know of, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my actual uh, Caden Live tutorial series, I will also leave a playlist of that in the description area below as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey Geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.